Now it's time for the children's message. So this is a great time to call any nearby children and youth over to watch this video if they're not already doing so. Hey guys, I'm Pastor David and I'm here to share the children's message with you now. You know, it's a, it's a great thing to be a part of a great church, to be a part of a great church family um, like ours because in the church, you know, we care for one another and we love one another and we're there for one another. And it's just really great to be a part of a wonderful, loving church family. Now, a few years ago, I had an experience that kind of emphasized that to me. Um, I was senior pastor at the Nightdale United Methodist Church on the east side of Raleigh, and we were having graduation Sunday where we were celebrating our high school and, and uh, college graduates. And it was a great service. And after we'd recognized the high school graduates, they announced that they had a special presentation to make to me. And I tell you what, it just, it brings tears to my eyes just to even think about it to this day, to think about how much they loved and cared for their pastor me. Um, you know what they gave me? I, I still have it and I brought it with me today. They apparently were deeply concerned for my health and they wanted to make sure that I didn't get sunburn on the top of my head. So they gave me this special hat and uh, I can wear it. Let me get it together here. And I can wear this and it will help protect the top of my head so that it doesn't get sunburned. Wasn't that the sweetest gift ever? Oh my goodness. It just really meant a lot to me. But that's the kind of thing we expect in the life of a church, the life and ministry of a church. Well, Pastor Julia is going to be preaching today from the second chapter of Acts. And she's gonna be preaching about a, a description of life in the church, the very first church ever, the church in Jerusalem. And in that church, they worshiped together, they prayed together, they liked to spend time with each other and hang out at each other's uh, houses and eat together. And if someone had a need, then they were there to help each other. And that's still a good model for the church today. That's the kind of church that we want to be a part of and that we are a part of. It's the kind of church that every church should be. And there's one more thing. You can be a part of it. You can be a part of helping our church to be that kind of church by being kind to one another, by um, loving one another, by helping others in need. And when you come to church, uh, if you're able to come here for a live worship service, you can smile at everybody you see and help spread the love of Jesus. Let us pray. Lord God, we give you thanks for the children and youth of our church and community. We pray your blessings on them and their families. And we thank you that we can be a part of a loving, caring church where we really try to be there for one another and to help one another and to care about one another and above all, to love one another. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 